Motley Crue or Motley Sue? Guitarist Mick Mars suing his former band he played with for more than 40 years. He's asking the seven corporate entities associated with the band to hand over records related to their business dealings after a 2022 dispute comes from Mars notifying the band that he'd be retiring from a touring due that he would be retiring from touring due to a medical condition. In the lawsuit, Mars claims that the band tried to oust him altogether and diminished his earnings he claims he's entitled to. The litigation lawyer for Motley Crue says members signed a 2008 agreement that any resigning shareholder would not be entitled to any of the money from the tours. A satirical comedy loosely based on a well-known artist and happy little tree painter, Bob Ross, features Owen Wilson. CNN's David Daniel with why your impression that he plays a saintly character is probably misplaced. There is nothing like having the one you hold dearest, nearest, when the world turns cold. Thanks for going to a special place with me, Carl Narkel. Owen Wilson is a small town public television celebrity and writer-director Britt McAdams paint. He carries himself like somebody who's pretty happy with the way his life has worked out. Don't let fame bring out the worst in you. Yeah, it's amazing how one man can like hold the scepter and be this like sort of local hero god, you know, to all these women and kind of keep them in the palm of his hand. They in many ways have built their lives around Carl Nargle, this rock star. Until a new talent arrives. Wait, what's going on? Hi friends and welcome to Paint with Ambrosia. It takes paint to a whole new place. And it's been a lot of places. Good night everyone. I've never seen him that mad. Sometimes in adulthood, you go down one path and you choose to stay there for way too long. And it uh, it's upsetting. It's hilarious to watch from the outside, but it's upsetting. I think it's always kind of funny and interesting to see somebody who's very content with all the accolades to, you know, take a fall. You're entitled to your favorite TV show. It's what makes this country great. <laughs> In Hollywood, I'm David Daniels. It's only because yours weren't selling. Those are Snoop Dogg. We are getting ready to send it over to SA Live, and they're having a uh, snack fest today. Oh, and these they, are really they good. Brought, those are Snoop Dogg ones? Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg barbecue you know cheddar cheese puffs. Tie that. that. The, 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 oh, oh those cheese are, puffs. Oh, those oh. are so good. Where do you get all this great yeah, stuff? Well, this, you have to tune in to Essay Life to find out. Really? Ursula, this I'm is glad, good stuff. I'm glad you're having a snack fest oh, over there. Oh, cotton candy. Hold on. Look, oh, you're enjoying them. That makes uh -huh. me so happy. So we have some here. I mean, some of the items, you know, peep. Pepsi, the Snoop Dogg chips, which it seems like you like those, David. I'm excited. Let me know how they are. Yes, we're going to tell you where you can get these unique goodies here in town. Also, so excited because we have the group Stomp here with us. Give us a sample, guys. That was great, but there's other things that you might well, want to... Now we want to search your studio and find other instruments. Okay, you guys have fun doing that. Also, it's a Magic Friday. Scott Pepper is here. Hey, Scott, Jim. you're giving us a preview of some yeah, magic. Yeah, sure. I thought I'd show you something. One, two, three poker chips here. And the first time it happens pretty quick, if you watch, one jumps from over there. Now this time you'll be watching closely, so this time I'm going to have to do a little move. And when I do the little move, the second one jumps. The last one's always the most difficult. I got to... Cover it up just for a second. It jumps again, and I have the one, two, three, poker chips. <laughs> okay, wow. More to come. <laughs> more to come. All right, that and more coming up on SA Live. These, these cheesecakes. This Saturday is free landfill day for San Antonio. If you're looking to throw away large, bulky items like furniture and mattresses, you can take them to three landfills. They are Republic Services, Waste Management, and the TDS Transfer Station from 8 a.m. to 1. You're going to need a picture ID, a recent CPS energy bill to show payment for the city's environmental fee. For more information on the landfill locations as well as the type of accepted material they'll take, visit our article on KZ.com. Mia.
Portland, even closer to Lytle, that activity is pushing farther up to the northeast. So especially near downtown San Antonio, we're going to start to see the rain pick up here pretty soon. And then after that, we're drying things out for your Easter weekend and temperatures will start warming up. Whenever the wow. SA Live interns show up, we know it's going to be a good day. We always have food with us. Introduce yourselves. Sure. Yep. Lily, Sarah. <laughs> they're so you, awesome. They're awesome. You guys are SA Live interns. Now you're intern in the news, and you brought us some snacks from. Sure you can get all this stuff here in San Antonio, right? Yeah, that's right. Yes. That's Ooh. right. We're going to wow. tell you where in just a minute. Um, Snoop Dogg's barbecue cheddar. No two bag, thumbs huh? up. They're good. Best and a double good. snap. Good. Cotton candy <laughs> matches my ties, so we're good there. <laughs> they SA Live meat. starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from Historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Tobias Strusky and those are just these are just some of the members right of the group stomp the Broadway hit show thank you all you guys are in town this weekend mm -hmm. super excited Jordan Brooks rehearsal director and performer for stomp is here to tell us more first let's talk about what you guys just pulled off here how'd you do this <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh, we literally went into your closets uh, we found everything around uh, the studio to try to make some music for you you know we, we saw obviously like a trash can has more bassy tone, um, you know, like these tongs have more metallic tones, and so we tried to find kind of a, a wide array of, uh, of sounds to, to make this musical performance. Yeah, so it's hearing the different tones and kind of blending that all together. And uh -huh. then you guys obviously have musical or different backgrounds too, right? You mentioned? Yeah, so some of us come from a music background and drumming background, and some of us come from a movement and dancing background or acrobatics. and. Um, you know, the show is pretty funny too. Sometimes people <laughs> forget, but you know, there's a lot of comedy in the show as well. So you blend all of those talents together. And uh, yeah, it's definitely a fun, it's a fun show to be a part of. And what have you learned from this experience? Uh, well, I definitely learned from, you know, my castmates, you know, every, every day um, I learn something new and, you know, we play different characters in the show and there's no speaking in the show. Um, so learning from other people's approach to uh, music, but also approach to theater and connecting with the audience is uh, something that uh, I definitely, definitely really appreciate being a part of this group. Wow, it's a full experience, right? The full yeah. act, like you said, no talking. Uh, what advice would you give to people who want to make music like you guys do? Yeah, well, you know, just follow your passion, follow your creativity. Um, if you want a way to express yourself, you don't necessarily need a guitar, you don't necessarily need a piano. You can start just with your body, you know, some body percussion, move from there, go into um, just finding things around your house, around your school, around uh, even just like in the playground. Um, but definitely follow your dreams. Uh, and it's definitely, uh, definitely a dream come true to be playing and music and performing with these uh, just wonderful castmates. It seems so fun. What's, uh, I guess, one of the challenges, would you say? Because this seems difficult. Yeah, me, you know, <laughs> honestly, you know, like we have uh, some really big props in the show. You know, uh -huh. we have shopping carts, um, we have tractor tire inner tubes. Oh, look at them. Uh, and, <laughs> wow. and they're heavy, you know, they're very yeah. heavy. And so it's definitely a challenge to try to make music with something that's that physically demanding. Um, and then there you can see paint cans were juggling as we're making music wow. as well. And so, um, yeah, a lot of challenges that come with it, but definitely rewarding uh, to to make music. Yeah. Speaking of making music, can I help you guys out? All right, so <laughs> let's see what you got. Okay. You can hold, hold down a, a rhythm for us. Okay. And we'll see, see if we can make something. All right, ready? Cheers. 
chance to see Stomp. You can see them tonight and tomorrow at the Tobin Center for, uh, for the Performing Arts. You can get tickets by calling 210-223-8624 or visit the website tobincenter.org. Stomp is just one of many things. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys. It's just one of many things happening this weekend in the Alamo City. There's so much going on in April, so it's no doubt that the first weekend is a big one. So let's kick it off with our What's Happening. And we have some star power, by the way. The 13th annual Young Stars 360 National Talent Search is tomorrow, and it could be your child's chance to break into the entertainment business. It was co-created by a child star who has us all cracking up every Saturday night. Do you have a young star in your home that's ready to shine? Well, you're in luck. We have award-winning actor, comedian, producer, Keenan Thompson joining us to tell us how he's helping talented kiddos showcase their skills to the world, because we all need that help, right? Some of us don't know where to begin. Hi, Keenan. thanks for joining us. How are you? Thank you for having me. Thank you for putting the word out about our showcases that we're doing out there. This is real exciting and we're happy to know that this is happening in San Antonio. So many talented kiddos here. So can you tell us a little bit about this show? Um, basically, we're just gathering up, you know, any kind of uh, young, talented people that want to come and uh, showcase their talents to my producing partners and uh, a couple like you know, local celebs, I think, will be judging and stuff like that. So it's a real communal feel to it. Um, but basically, we're just looking for undiscovered talent. And, you know, we're going to bring a selected few to New York to give them another grand showcase out here to, you know, try to expose them to, you know, some good people in the industry. We're kind of looking for any and all, you know, we're just looking for standout singing, dancing, you know, comedy, um, you know, drama. I don't I don't really know. But writing you know what i mean we don't want to leave anything out because you know the business is big there's a lot of aspects to it you could be a writer you could be a producer you could be in front of the camera you know you could be in transportation it's like you know just getting people more in the ideology of wanting to get into entertainment in whatever form services than the best i think we have a few fun quick questions about your current or you know past classmates first question who's the best dancer the best dancer would be Taryn Killam. Okay. Taryn Killam was one of the greatest, like, natural musical theater kind of self choreographers I've ever seen. Yeah, I was gonna ask, how's your relationship with Kel? Because I grew up watching you guys, by the way, so love it. And I heard there's gonna, going to be a Good Burger too. Is this right? Absolutely. That is absolutely <laughs> right. We're, we're so happy and pleased that we can actually say that, you know, and have it be official. So. Yeah, you know, that's my lifelong brother, and I'm so excited to, to get back to, you know, working on a, a longer period of time kind of a project as opposed to just like a talk show appearance or something. Interview. Thank you so much, Kenan. Again, the 13th annual Young Stars 360 National Talent Search is happening tomorrow, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Hard Rock Cafe downtown. You still have time to get tickets. And there's more happening this weekend, like a fun and free outdoor holiday egg hunt at the Cibolo Family YMCA. It's going on tomorrow. You can enjoy vendors, games, face painting, balloon animals, and a taco truck. Yes, please. Uh, egg hunts start at 1130 for the little ones and continue through the afternoon for different age groups. Families are encouraged to bring their own Easter baskets. Yes, don't forget those baskets. There's a Sunday brunch market happening on Easter. It's hosted by Box Street all day and the Texas market. It's from 10 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Yanaguana Garden at Hemisphere. You'll be able to sip and shop while enjoying local vendors, a DJ, and brunch. Ooh, sounds like a great time. If you're looking for laughs, we have those for you. Comedian Crystal Powell is performing tonight and tomorrow at Upstage Comedy Lounge. You might remember her from America's Got Talent and Kevin Hart's Heart of the City comedy special. And guess what? She's here. We're so happy to have Crystal Powell joining us today. Welcome. Ah, I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> I love Thanks that reaction. I know, yes. right? Anytime I can come to Texas, I'm excited. And then to be here with you guys. So congratulations. I, I love the show. Oh, thank But thanks you. for having me. I'm excited. And you mentioned coming to Texas. Well, this is home, yes. right? So what is it that you love the most about the Lone Star State? 
The food. Yes, me too. <laughs> the food and the people. Yes. And I tell people all the time, I'm so happy that I was raised in Texas because it, it taught me how to treat people. So anytime I can come home and get, we, we wave when people let yes. us over on the freeway. Yes. You know, we hold the elevator. Not yes. saying other people don't, but I just feel like being from Texas, we're just good people. Yes. We're rooted right. And we yes. say hello. We yeah. get eye contact. Mm -hmm. And we eat cheese. Yeah. <laughs> cheese, tortillas, all, all the, the good things. stuff. Right? Yes. I know you're going to go get some good food. Oh, right? I after cannot this. wait. No, I, I'm planning. Planning everything around this interview, like now it's about food. Yes, so, yes I cannot yes, wait. I, we need to get you something. Don't <laughs> worry, we'll get some tacos soon. Now let's talk about the jobs you've had, because you, you, I mean, com comedy is your thing, but yes. so many other jobs, right? Yes. Before, I'm, I'm one of those people. I was very blessed. I was a school teacher. I played professional football. Like all those things, the no's get you ready for when you just need that one yes in entertainment. But mm -hmm. all those jobs uh, prepare me for the funny. I didn't realize that I had been doing stand-up pretty much my old my whole life because that's Aww. how I used to get out of you know whoopings or get to stay up <laughs> late at night. You yes. know, so I've been doing it my whole life. But all of the jobs that led up to this just prepared me for this for these moments and for being here to make people laugh and forget about those problems. Yes, that's a great thing. That's a gift because they're the there and they're gonna be there. They're not going nowhere. <laughs> yes, I promise. Yes, we need a good laugh. Now you're also working on the Magic Mike live show. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Listen, sounds like a dream job. Channing Tatum, first <laughs> off, thank you so much. Magic Mike Live is the best thing that's happened. It's totally changed in my life. We have three shows running all at once. We have the Magic Mike Live Tour, which is the North American Tour. We have Magic Mike Live in Vegas, and then we also have it overseas. And you know, who don't want to look at abs every day? You know what I'm saying? And, and see a body roller too. Wow. Like, if wow. you have a bad day, I just have to look to the left or to the right, and then I'll be like, eh, it can be way worse. Yeah, yeah so it makes everything really better. Huh? Okay, yeah. and then let's talk about your show here this weekend. Yes. Upstate, like Bobby Smith and those guys over there, they gave me a shot. Like, this is like my third or fourth time being at their establishment. And I just love it. Like, loyalty in this business is everything. You work with who works with, with you. I tell people all the time, go where you're celebrated and not tolerated. Yes. And I just, I love the fact that, you know, it, it might be a smaller club, but it's a family club. It's family business owned and it's a great time, and I want everybody to come because we're gonna. Anytime you laughing, you burning calories. There you go. And for our, you know, for an hour and thirty minutes, we're gonna forget about those yes, problems yes. and those pink slips, that old <laughs> weight that we think. You know. Yes, yes. We wanna forget about those problems and laugh. All right, there's the information on the screen tonight and tomorrow. Head to our website for more info, salive.com. Click the As Seen on SA Live tab for more information. For more weekend adventures, you can check out San Antonio uh, things to do in San Antonio. Com. There's so many things. All right, that brings us to our social question of the day. What are your weekend plans? It's a big Easter weekend. Today's Good Friday. So what are your plans? Eating all the things. Okay. Eating all the Sign good stuff. Up. Can yes. I go with you? Yes. Yeah. What are all we right. yeah, eating out. all the stuff? <laughs> <laughs> all right, share your comments at SA Live Kesa on our Facebook or Twitter page. We'll share them later in the show. Still ahead on SA Live. Have you ever had Snoop Dogg tortilla chips? How about peanut butter crunch beer? We visit a local shop that has snacks you can't find anywhere else in town. But first, move over Easter Bunny. You're not the only one bringing the magic this weekend. We're getting a sneak peek of an exciting show you need to see to believe. Stick around. I am Keenan Thompson and you are watching SA Live. <laughs> Welcome back to SA Live, the Easter weekend can't be complete, right? Without some magic. We always like to bring that to you. Magician Scott Pepper joins me now, and he's getting us excited because you have another magician coming in town, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, normally I'm bringing the magicians on yes. tonight. It's me, but we're talking about the other magician Yes, there. but we love having you, so. Oh, well, thank you. It's great to be back. Um, would you like to see something? Uh, you know it, yes. Well, are see. you a fan of superhero movies? Sure. I am. Yeah. <laughs> because I recently found out I have a superpower. Oh, okay. Yes, it's the ability to make amazingly pointless but accurate predictions. <laughs> Would you like to see one? Yes. Okay. Yes, of course. Well, in a deck of cards, there are low cards and high cards. If you mm -hmm. had to guess of one of those, low or high, what would you go for? Uh, I'd go low. Low cards. Yeah. Unbelievable. I too predicted <laughs> low. Look at that. Yay. All right. Look. In low okay. cards, there's two, three, four, and five. What would you go? Two, three, four, or five? Uh, three. Three? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, there is no way, yes or no, there was no way I knew you could have said that, right? No. No? No. <laughs> I know, it just gets better. <laughs> Are you still not convinced? So let's try this one. Uh, you said three. There's uh, clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds. Uh, what would be your favorite? Uh, diamonds. Diamonds, a girl's best friend. Now look, no more tricks. Inside okay. here is just 
one card. Okay. I'm so excited. I don't know if I ever want to show the camera. So, Jen, I'm going to show you what one word describes that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Actually, we made a few decisions there. What card did we come to in the end? It was the three of uh, diamonds. diamonds. One card and yes. one card only inside. There was the whole time the three of oh, <laughs> diamonds. Oh my goodness! Magic! How? Every time. That I know. Is amazingly question. pointless but accurate, right? So, uh, <laughs> yes, there you, you go. want to do one more? Yes, let's do Excellent. it. Excellent. Well, I love. I'm an artsy guy. You probably know that, of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I collect portraits. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, portraits okay. of myself. <laughs> But I don't like paying people to do it. I like other people uh, to oh, do them. So I was wondering yes. if you could draw me a portrait of me. Yes. And you've got this whole space to fill up, oh so gosh. really go crazy. Okay. We, we, you know, a little bit. I'm going to draw one of you as well, Jane, because oh, okay. I'd like to do that. Hold on, i got to look so, at you. Um, yeah, yes. let's and have then, a look. And, and let's talk about how long you've been performing magic. I know it's hard to do two things at once now, isn't oh. it, Jen? Um, so I've been doing magic about 30 years, and uh, I've been have, got, have had the Magician's Agency Theatre now for five years. And tonight we've got a great act, Mr. Harry Maurer, coming in to amaze everyone. He's going to be here Friday and Saturday, so it means you can watch our show, and then you can go watch Crystal's show as well on a different day. Yes. So it's going to be two different shows you can see. Nice plug, um, right? Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> two, right, live entertainment. Okay, I'm about done. Let me know when you're oh, done, Jen. Okay, this is what I got. Well, let, let me take the pen first. Okay, uh, hold on, I'm doing your ears. <laughs> Okay, there we this go. Is my, this is my favorite part. I, let's have a, whoa, wow. <laughs> what did I do to upset you, Jen? <laughs> very quick. Look at that. Don't uh, judge. Okay. <laughs> that's, uh, no, do you know what, Jen? That's beautiful. I am going to frame it uh, because <laughs> I am actually, I, I do like that. That's wonderful. That's going to go in there, Jen. And um, actually, that's, I did one of you. I've done this a few oh, more no, times, so I hope you're going to like this. I thought okay. I really caught your essence here. Uh, <laughs> Okay, oh, right. yeah, I mean, obviously one of these is more superior, Jen, but we'll, we won't go into that. Uh, two different ones, actually. Let's, uh, let's try this. Um, okay. Let's take this one here, and um, I'm going to stand back here. We're going to make the one you drew and the one I drew switch places. Is that no. cool? Here we okay, go. yes. Check it out. <laughs> it's done, Jen. They have now switched places. Okay. But the hardest part is to make them switch back again. <laughs> And they switch back again, Jen, no. twice, just like that. Boom. <laughs> Some people out there don't believe me. They would prefer no. to see yes. the moment it happens. Yes. So let's do this. Let's hold that right there. And you guys keep an eye on the picture Drum that room. I drew. That's it. This takes about three and a half hours to just keep staring, everyone. No, let's try and make this a little bit quicker. <laughs> Have a look. Keep your eye on that picture. I'm watching it. You're What's watching happening? It? Something strange Some might start to happen. What? Actually, one picture might seem to disappear this while one seems to This beautiful artist drawing. <laughs> there is nothing Portrait. left inside oh there, Jen. Gosh. But wait, if this one's here, then hopefully it How? switched places with the one Did you I drew do that? right there. And Every you can keep time. that as a little souvenir. Get, and I'm going to keep this yes. one. Yes, oh my goodness. That is amazing. Magician Scott Pepper, you can see. What's Harry Mara, Mr. Yes. Harry Mara, amazing magician from Houston. To, uh, tonight and tomorrow night, 7 p.m. at the Magicians Agency Theater downtown for tickets. We set up a link on your website, at, on our website. My goodness, what? <laughs> we're flipping websites too. Okay, essaylive.com. Just click the as seen on Essay Live tab. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Jeff. Still ahead on SA Live, the Easter Bunny is hopping into town this weekend. How you can be ready with some fun activities and treat ideas that won't break the bank. And next, the last thing you want to ruin your fiesta fun this year is to get sick. What you need to know about the city's effort against COVID. Don't go anywhere. You're watching SA Live. Services are still being offered to mitigate the spread of COVID-19 in our community. And the city of San Antonio's Metropolitan Health District does research on the risk of illness and takes action to stop the spread of infectious diseases. And here to give us an update on the current state of the pandemic is Dr. Anita Korean, Deputy Director of Metro Health. Welcome, welcome Thank you. doctor. Thank you for being here. All right, so we've been living in this pandemic for what is it now, three years. Um, why is important? Why is it important for everyone to continue to get vaccinated? So at this point in time, um, our goal, Metro Health's goal, is to prevent serious illnesses. Um, resulting in hospitalizations and death because of COVID-19. So the vaccines that are currently available in our nation are highly effective in preventing just that serious illnesses, uh, thereby you being in hospital and dying from it. So it's very important that all of us, six months and older, who are eligible to get vaccinated, if you're not vaccinated, we get vaccinated and stay up to date to avoid being seriously ill from COVID-19 and being in the hospital or even dying from it. 
And so not only getting vaccinated, but making sure you get that booster. So who's eligible for the booster? Booster is, again, an important part of protecting yourself or your child from being seriously ill with COVID-19 that could potentially land you in the hospital or, or even kill you, right? So again, once again, everyone six months and older, mm -hmm. if eligible, uh, should get that booster. And our recommendation is to get that one bivalent, the updated booster dose. And so what if someone has misplaced their COVID-19 vaccine card? You know, can they still get the booster without it? So ideally we say, hey, it's, it's, it's important you bring your records so we don't give you the wrong vaccines or the wrong doses, right? Okay. Or the wrong number of vaccines too. So it's important you have that record and if you've misplaced that record, the easiest way is to get it from your uh, healthcare provider or your doctor's office that has administered the vaccine. Now, for some reason, if your doctor's office or folks who have given the vaccine are not able to give it to you, you can also get it directly from the Texas Department of State Health Services. If you have received your shot with us, Metro Health, even in, in our in clinic or any of our pop-up events, you can get that from us. Uh, it's very important you call and make an appointment because these records are released only on our immunization clinic, which is on the east side 210 Melvedes Way. And then our number to call, I should give that out. It's 210-207-8894. And there is a $5 administration fee for that. Okay, and you mentioned, of course, the pop-up clinics and Metro Health still offers those, correct? Yes, we continue to offer and we intend to do that year round. Uh, in addition to COVID vaccine, we also offer flu when it's flu season, flu vaccines. Uh, there are a number of other childhood vaccines also that are uh, given at these pop-up events. Uh, these, if you want more details of, you know, the dates, times, of locations, yes. that's available on our website at covid19.sanantonio.gov. Awesome. This information is updated on a weekly basis on our website. Dr. Korean, thank you so much. To find your nearest COVID-19 vaccine clinic, just call 311 or visit the website, as Dr. Korean mentioned, COVID-19 dot san antonio dot gov thank you so much doctor thank you do you know what a bodega is well even if you do this one is so unique so special you are going to want to check it out and next not ready for easter we've got some easy and inexpensive treat and decoration ideas that won't cost a lot of time or money get excited you don't want to miss this Welcome back to SA Live. It's Easter weekend and are you so excited? And you just can't hide it. Come on, ladies. I'm about to lose control, control and I think I like yes, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we are excited. Way to go, Robert. That's our producer. Shout out to him. Yes. Well, you're going to be excited after these activities. Yes. Adina Anderson here with us along with comedian Crystal Powell. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. All right. Adina, what are we starting we on? We got a lot of stuff going on okay. here. So, you want to keep the kids busy, get some paper plates. It's so inexpensive. You can get like 100 for a couple bucks. Get some markers. Glue dots are great. You can use a glue gun mm -hmm. if you want, but I like glue dots when it comes to kids. Yes. Get some pom poms and make a mask <laughs> or a little play setting. Just let the kids have fun and get creative with it. Okay, I'm gonna help you out. Yeah, okay. yes. <laughs> Draw your eyes. eyes. Okay. Here you go. Yeah, you can and do wiggle eyes if nose. you have them. Oh, but yeah. Just no use help. what you have around the house. And then to decorate eggs, you know, yes. eggs are expensive this year, so we want to find alternatives to that. These are some cute little paper mache eggs. I think I got them at Amazon or Walmart or something. And you're doing a decoupage with them, which is so simple. Just Put that a decoupage on there, mm -hmm. add some tissue paper, overlap the tissue paper until it's completely covered, let it dry overnight, actually a couple hours and it's good. And you have a really cute Easter egg there. Very cute. And, and another then, idea uh, is mm -hmm. just, you know, let the kids have fun with paint. I just did a little polka dotted one here. It's really simple, but let them paint on it with, um, mm -hmm. these are paper mache, and they can use acrylic paint, oil paint, whatever they want and make a cute little. Have fun with it, right? Yeah, how's it exactly. going? Exactly. Look, look how cute. cute. Kids make like scared of rabbits anyway, so it's probably a scare them. But I love it. I love it. Love it. And for a simple treat, I just made up these little croissant carrots. Mm. So it's really just those, you know, store bought. Well, mm -hmm. this one exploded, but they're little yeah. yes. <laughs> store bought croissants, yes. ham and cheese, and then just get some parsley from the store. That's just stick so it simple, right in there. So cute. Yeah. Fancy like so. And then you have a cute you little carrot. How simple. A little pudding cup there. Add some Oreo on top with a peep. And these are just cute things that kids can make. You can make, decorate the table. And of course, we have our, right in front our of you, Easter Crystal. cooterie for it there. I want to eat it all. <laughs> Ooh. You fill it up with all your favorites.
favorites. Yeah. You know, that actually is pretty inexpensive. If you just head over to Target or Walmart, buy the Peeps. You know, but the Peeps have gone out this year. They've got every kind of By flavor way, you can there, think I of. Could, yeah, and I couldn't find any, so I might steal some of Take yours. whatever you want. There's <laughs> plenty. Do you like I'm a Peeps, that? yes. Me, yes. I'm a Peeps. Yes, yes. 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 exactly. <laughs> Yes. So and then fun this easy. decoration you did here. Oh, yes, that's so cute. these yeah. are just plastic. Well, we, we, we got an egg on the loose. Oh, oh no. <laughs> got an egg <laughs> on the loose. Egg I like it. But I'm both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these are just the little plastic eggs you can get, you know, I think I got these for a dollar, for like 12 of them. Get your drill, drill oh, a hole through oh, the bottom. Yeah. Well, oh, I won't careful. do it. This one's already okay. drilled through. <laughs> She's serious. And then glue dot it right onto, these are old Christmas lights. So you're not going to spend a fortune to do this. Oh. Use what you already have. Mm -hmm. And look how cute that is. You can put it on the table, you can put it, hang it on the wall. It's just simple and fun and easy to make. All right, so many I ideas. Like it. And you have a ton on your website as I well. I do, yes. So. The, all of these are on there along with a whole bunch of other Easter ideas. All right. What do you think? You I love, love it. I'm ready to eat it. I love your bunny. I'm about to eat something. One. Right. You can put all of this in front of me and I can only have one. I might take the whole tray. That's why. All right. For more information, you can head the torture. to essaylong.com. Click the as seen on essaylong.com. <laughs> Or scan that QR code right there on your screen. Crystal, you can have it all. I, I can have yes. it all. It's all it in my pocket. All you. Yeah, it'll all right. fit. <laughs> Still ahead, one SA Live viewer is winning big. The Kesa Insider Prize Wheel is back. How you can sign up to spin and win. But next, have you ever tried Starburst cotton candy? Or what about the Snoop Dogg chips? Oh, look, Hawaiian Punch cotton candy. We're going to show you where you can get all these goodies here in town. outside Jefferson Bodega. But what exactly is a bodega? Let's go inside and find out. Well, hi there, I'm Fiona. Hey, Fiona, I'm the Bodega Man. Welcome to Bodega. The Bodega Man. Okay, now what exactly is this place for those that don't know? So the Bodega is a hub of unique, hard to find, odd, and uh, snacks and drinks. Things that you can't usually find easily anywhere else um, and that really bring joy to people. And by bringing joy, is it kind of maybe something from their childhood or something from maybe their home country? You've nailed it. It could be something that you've never seen before or something that hits you deep in the nostalgia level. But that's the idea, is it all different people like all kinds of different things. So we want to hit on every level. And the merchandise kind of changes constantly, right? That's the idea. It's just like life and all the great things in life is they're fleeting. All the great moments uh, in life are fleeting. So we wanted to create a place where everything is limited edition, everything is kind of um, once a one-time chance, and so this is it. And so when folks come in, what is their first reaction? Well, the first reaction is often like, oh my gosh, I've never seen this before, or how cool is that, or look at this. And um, But my favorite first reaction comes from the kids, where they start jumping up and down, they're like, oh! Then that's that's what we're Sugar! going for. Yes, <laughs> we're addicted to child screams of joy. <laughs> yes. Okay. And so there are a few popular items, right, uh, here at the store. There's always a lot of popular items um, based on TikTok trends or what's going on out there, or even flavors of the season. And we've kind of really tapped into that to figure out what the coolest, hottest thing is of all time. <laughs> have events that come up, right? That's right. We do an event uh, almost every weekend and occasionally on the weekdays. The whole point is that we want to create pleasant surprises. This was actually born during COVID when we felt we were looking at the kids and there's a lot of negative surprises they were getting. Can't see your grandparents, can't go out and play, you're not going to school. So we thought let's counter that with positive surprises. So to this day, you never know what you're going to find in the bodega. We could be shooting a, a music video. There might be a stand-up comedian here. We've done foam dance parties. We had a segment of the San Antonio Symphony uh, come out here and play concerts. Um, we've done a child-only entrepreneur's market. Um, every day we have a Selena Festival coming up. We've got a uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles coming up. You never know what you're going to find at the bodega. And that's why you got to be here because you don't even have a website, right? Yeah, so part of our ethos is really no promotion or anything like that. That's what makes it a surprise and that's actually what makes it own. So no, we don't have a website. We don't answer the phone. We don't have business cards. We don't publish any kind of schedule. In fact, one of the other news agencies was asking us recently if they could cover an event. We asked them not to. The whole idea, it's for the people, for those people who stumble into it, and uh, that kind of makes it yours and special. 
Well, I'm so glad we stumbled into this today. So thank you so much for your time. We're glad to have you here. All right. And tell people where you're located so they can stumble on in too. That's awesome. We're at 1005 Donaldson Avenue over here on the west side in the best neighborhood of all of San Antonio, right near Jefferson High School. Thank you so much. And for all that information, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab or just scan that QR code on your screen. I love how they're all about the limited edition items. All right, guys, you're gonna help me, Chris Yes. Alina. What are we gonna try first? I'm going for the. Uh, I'm doing the cheesecake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I want to try. Mm. Oh, it's soft and chewy. Mm. Oh. Oh. Oh, guys, no doubt. Expecting. <laughs> Not at all. Real cheesy. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, these are good. Good to the palate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. No. Okay. Okay. What did you try? Do you know what? The is? cheesecake. How is, oh. how is that? It's very sweet. Really? <laughs> I feel like my uh, best smells like, like uh, yeah. chips now. I'm <laughs> going. I'm going for the peep pop here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> cheesecake okay. gummy candy. It's yeah. so good. Now, oh, on this Good Friday, we get all the treats. <laughs> I'll try the soda, which is a mangonada okay, champ. This is really okay. good. <laughs> they even cut it up in the little pieces like mm -hmm. this is the size that we should have in yes. real life people <laughs> they're setting an example for us this is what we should really that's your 100 oh, calorie yes. right <laughs> so good i love the soda Ooh, here okay. and then the chocolate our photographer ted says this one was his favorite so i'm gonna mm. try the chocolate okay all right i know you this is good that, i don't i want to try the okay. um okay. Oh my God, these are really mm. good mm. all of this good mm. Let's see, I was hungry. Mm -hmm. All right. Dog did done, done good. All right. <laughs> thanks again mm. to Luke and Lisa. We're going to keep enjoying our snacks, but thanks for inviting <laughs> us to your story. And thank you, Crystal, for joining in and entertaining Thank you. All right. Next on SA Live, every spin is a win. One SA Live viewer is walking away with an amazing prize today. Find out how you can be the next big winner. to one lucky insider today as we get ready to spin the KSAT Insider Prize Wheel. And this month's winner is Susie Blasi, who gets to spin the prize wheel from San Antonio. Are, are, you, are you excited, Susie? I am. I am very excited. Very excited. <laughs> okay, that's what we want to hear. Now, Susie, how long have you been watching KSAT? Um, I would say since 1970. And do you have a favorite show? Well, I like the uh, SA Live is awesome. Okay, awesome, that, awesome that was always the correct answer, Susie. That was yes. that was that yes. was it right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you have a daughter graduating college next month. Uh, I know, do. Wh where does she go to school? What's her major? Well, she she finished at UTSA and she's in was in kinesiology. Now she's at St. Philip's getting the physical therapy assistant degree. Oh. Well, yeah. you've got to be yeah. excited about that. We are very excited. We very, are very, proud. very nice career mm -hmm. ahead of her, okay? And yeah. we hear that you have won a big a prize slash trip before. Did you win a trip to Hawaii? I did. I did. It was amazing. We just test drove a car, and the next thing I know, I get a phone call. It was, you know, 30 years ago, but it was awesome okay well we are gonna try and get you something on this prize that's, wheel but I'm i don't so think there's excited. a trip to hawaii but that's okay yeah, that's okay. okay we're gonna get you something yeah, okay. really good okay are you ready to spin the ksat insider prize wheel super All right. excited super you're gonna count excited. me down Susie. i need you to give me okay. a three two one go ahead all right three two one spin go. there we go on the prize wheel we have a two thousand dollar gift card to living spaces a one thousand dollar gift card to living spaces a two hundred and fifty dollar gift card to heb and a one hundred dollar prepaid gift card let's see where it lands as the wheel starts to slow down for Susie. what are we gonna get you it is a one hundred dollar prepaid okay. gift card I love good. that excitement, Susie. <laughs> All right. Now, a big thank you, of course, to Susie Blasi for watching SA Live and being a KSAT Insider. We're spinning the KSAT Insider prize wheel for a new winner every first Friday of the month, and you could be next, but you have to be a KSAT Insider. For details on how to enter, visit the website, ksat.com slash insider. And once again, congratulations, Susie. Yay. 
Yes, congratulations. The San Antonio Gunslingers Pro Arena football team are getting ready for their big season opener at this weekend at the Freeman Coliseum. But before their kickoff, they wanted to round up their fans for a very special meet and greet with the players. It's one of the things that sets the San Antonio Gunslingers apart, their dedication to their fans. Last Sunday at the Alamo Beer Company, the Pro Arena football team met with fans and players were fired up as folks waited in line at their games. The field is short and it's lined with walls, so the action is up close and sometimes even over the wall. You can see the San Antonio Gunslingers in action tomorrow night for their season opener against the Carolina Cobras at the Freeman Coliseum. The game starts at 6 p.m. Doors open at 5 p.m. and there will be a free limited edition Gunslingers Fiesta medal for the first 400 fans through the door. Be sure to wear your best Fiesta gear because it's a Fiesta theme night. Sounds fun. Affordable family fun is what the San Antonio Gunslingers are all about with tickets as low as $10. For more information, head go online to San AntonioGunslingers.com. Celebrate San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Earlier, we asked you, what are your Easter weekend plans? We want to know. Oh, cute bunny. Oh, yes, uh, Lisa Ann says eating barbecue with family. Sounds great. Do I get an invite? Linda, gather with family. Jonathan, church. Just like my 85-year-old granny taught me. Oh. <laughs> and Valerie, being with my grandkids, hiding eggs from the family. All right, guys, thanks for sharing. And we're going to leave you with the performance by Stomp. Come on, guys, ready? 